nobody had ever seen anything like it. I mean, this had been an all-acoustic parade. No speakers, no amplifiers, not even a boombox. And then out of nowhere comes this sound. We used to be all all brass. It was acoustic. I had a, two trumpets and and a trombone and two trombones and a French horn. And uh, we played uh, gospel music and uh, countryfied stuff. People liked this because we played a lot of old timey songs that they'd known from their childhood. And, uh, you know, people like songs that they already have in their heart. And we just sort of resonated with people. And we knew how to have a good time. That's why we called us the Fun Time Band. Any parade entry with the kind of sound system that the Fun Time Band had, you know, I think they would have ruffled a few feathers, but it being the Fun Time Band, I, I think that really got to people. You know, the Cole Porter numbers, uh, the chicken dance, back home again in Indiana. I mean, these are the last guys on the planet you'd think would own an amplifier. And, you know, when you go back and you look at the footage, you see some people are just loving it. They're having a great time. And, but, uh, but some people are upset, even, even angry. I mean, obviously, with the whole ex Benedict thing. I think to really understand what happened, you have to go back to before the parade even started. Andrew was so nervous. He had been planning this for months, and he just didn't know how people were going to react. Everything was going fine until they did a sound check. check, check, check. Well, we'd go to a place they called the staging area where everybody got set for the parade to start and uh, Andrew would turn on the PA system and we'd strike up a few notes. Damn, we were loud. So after the sound check, some guy comes up to the parade track and says, well, that was loud enough. And uh, I, I could tell, he didn't show it, but I could tell Andrew was shaken up. I thought he was gonna give it up right then and there. Uh, then he looked at me, big smile on his face, cranked up the amp a couple more notches, walked off. <laughs> I mean, I think things were going really well. People loved it, you know, they were clapping and dancing along. You know, it's funny, I've gone back and talked to the people, you know, all the people at the beginning of the parade, and uh, basically they all have to say that, you know, it was the best part of the parade, they really loved it. So it wasn't until they were in front of Nick's that things really started to turn sour. Oh my gosh, it was like all of a sudden people started booing. And then a couple people started chanting, turn it down, turn it down. And I know he heard them. It breaks my heart thinking about it. Some of them really, really started booing, and, and Andrew heard that and he thought, well, who are they booing at? And then he realized they were booing at us. And he got mad and he said, turn it up! And so we turned it up. I'm not sure 
if whoever yelled eggs benedict meant benedict arnold but i know that's what andy took it to mean uh, i i think that was it for him he felt like they were calling him a traitor you know and here's this guy this parade thing means the world to him so no i don't think he's going to take an insult like that lightly well, when I heard that, I thought they were ordering something to eat or something. It made me hungry. I, I like holiday sauce, but Andrew heard it, and I think he thought they said Benedict Arnold, and he got pissed. Sure, we were loud, but we were good, man. It was rock and roll. It was grooving. It was... It was heavy beat, and, and people were just going wild. Looking back, uh, you know, what really strikes me, it's the very end. And the, the camera it swings around to show the rest of the parade. And it's more like a funeral procession than a parade. There's just no life to it. I think what they really did was just shake things up. I mean, if you go to that parade now, you'll see speakers and microphones and amplifiers and who knows what else. And I don't think any of that would have really been possible if it weren't for the Funtime Band. <laughs> Was it the greatest parade performance of all time? No. No, I don't think so. But... But was it provocative? Maybe. Andrew was never the same after that. And then there was the moped accident and the weight gain. And it seemed like he had just given up. You see this kind of thing happen all the time with great artists. They go so fast that they have to crash. Some of them come back and some don't. Well, gosh, it's it's been years now. I personally thought he'd never go back, but he says he's ready. Maybe he is. looking for. Uh, I did yell eggs benedict during the parade. Uh, there was a truck coming by and it was really loud so I had to yell at the waitress uh, what I wanted for breakfast and uh, that's about it. Um, it. Anyway it was it was pretty good. The eggs anyway. So now what's happening is uh the parade starts out, you guys are going down, you're loud as shit. Uh, you get about halfway into the parade, people like it, and then about like somewhere around Nick's or somewhere around Kirkwood, people start booing. And, uh, and, and they're like, boo, boo, too loud, too loud, they're yelling too loud. This didn't happen. This did not happen. <laughs> this did not happen. 